Hello guys, happy Halloween. I'm not dressed in any Halloween costumes, I don't have any, I don't have any Halloween food this year or anything like that. Um, but I am going to try and make some normal food more Halloweenish, possibly. All right? Now I have some liver and bacon and mash. It's something you can basically just put straight in the microwave or in the oven, I believe. Um... And I'm going to make this a bit more uh, Halloweenish. So I'm going to take off the wrapper now. It says it was. Oh, it, when's this date, boy? The date was the 28th of October. It's currently the 30th of October. And on. Sorry, the 31st of October, I apologise. It was the 30th a few hours ago. Um, so it's now officially Halloween day, um, and I'm going to open this up. I have here some, as I said, there was a, rep a BBC News report about how the Chancellor, that's the woman in charge of um, p finance in this country, um, said she, it was a budget she didn't want to repeat. Um, I could not have known that in the past. This is dated the 29th of August, 24 that's out of date this is the 29th of september it's out of date. i never got around to using this i was going to last year i just didn't get you around to it so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna take this off i'm sure that's not what you're supposed to do but this is the only way i can do this and now i've got some green food dye so i have some green food dye here i'm going to pour it onto the mash there you go that's food green green food dye i'm going to put the top on doesn't it look cute this is from about a year ago so i just never got around to doing it um and now i'm just going to mix that up oh that was my plan but it seems it's a bit stiffer than I thought. Anyway, this is green mash, guys. And I'm going to leave it at that, okay? It'll do. So there's some greenish mash now. And here I have the um, bacon and liver on the left here. And so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to put in some of the red food dye. And I actually used this for only one thing. And that was to do the chicken tikka a while ago. I did a chicken tikka video. Now I've poured in the red food dye. Mix that up. I don't know if this is going to work or not because it's probably going to be a disaster. But it does look like some redness in there. So it's made some of this, some of the bacon and some of the liver. A bit reddish so it's just a matter of and it's mixing it up it's mixing it with the gravy so it's making some of the gravy look red turn it back over I only got this because it was cheap by the way it was in a budget and I thought well it'd be something that I could possibly do this to so there you go Oh, now I've got the red, and you could say that's sort of like a blood colour. Ironically, they probably want to make this look less like a blood colour, and I've made it more like a blood colour, but there you go. And that's just because for the whole Halloween theme, okay? So there you go, guys. And now, later I'm going to leave that to marinate for a while. Then I will put that in the, either the oven or the microwave, I haven't decided which, and then I will eat it. Okay, right, so that's that for now.
okay and while I'm doing that I will show you it says liver bacon and mash and says meal for one tender slices of baked lamb's liver in a rich onion gravy with sweet cured bacon and buttery mash and um, this would have been three pound 25 just for that it's now currently 98 it was 98 pence in the sale okay so yes you normally pay about four pound roughly just for that normally um that's inflation for you guys once upon a time that would probably been about two pound or something um and it's probably about 50p in a sale but there you go you know that's what I, you get because it was at, it wasn't actually out on date when I got it, but it was up the same day, so that's why it was reduced. Okay, and you know I like to get reduced food now and again because it's just cheaper. Okay, so I'll be do the, everything else now, and then you will see me eat it later. Okay, right. But I'm going to leave this for a while to marinate. Okay, bye for now. Okay, guys, I've just heated it in the microwave, okay? So now I'm going to try and put it out. Now, this is going to be a bit difficult, but I'm going to try. Um. I'll start with the mash. Get the mash on the plate. This is hard enough for. Oh dear. Right. So that's difficult my knees in the way, but I'm afraid this is how it is. I'll put the liver on. Okay, it's falling out, so it doesn't matter, I'll deal with it in a minute. Okay. Right, so this is it's all falling out with I wasn't quite what I intended, but never mind. I wanted to add that later, but I'll put it onto the mash, but Never mind, I'll pour this over the top. I'll put this somewhere. Bloody way, it's going to be a bloody nuisance. Don't be a pig, please. Don't be a pig. Right now. Right, okay, so this is it, now, I should actually have had to brought up a knife as well, but never mind. That will do. For once, I'm going to chop things up with a fork. Not how I'm supposed to do it. I forgot it was in one lump. Often I've had the see, sort of ready meals and they're usually chopped up for you, but this isn't so. 
I know this is a bit uncouth, but I'm going to rip it, so I'm going to rip the bacon instead. I know I should use a knife, but as I said, I forgot to bring one up. As often with ready meals, I said all I've ever needed most of them is just a fork. Because I've usually cut it up for you, but anyway, so now you can see there's the readiness and you can see the green of the mash. See, so you've got green bits of mash and the red, what looks like blood like of the um, meat, etc. Obviously, this is all the red dye, it would normally be more brown and there you go guys um, liver bacon and mash um, Halloween style okay right now it's probably gone cold now but mm -hmm. yeah, the problem is while it's doing all that it's gone a bit cold to be honest but it was very hot when I got it out but I was Well, wrong time. Um, I'm sorry, look close. That's some of the green mass. Okay, I'm back, guys. Right now, um, that's a minute. No idea what happened. Anyway, um, basically, accidentally, I put my keyboard up at an angle. It's it's resting upright. I accidentally pressed a key. I don't know how, but I must have knocked it with my foot or something. Anyway, it stopped the recording for some stupid reason. But anyway, uh, it gave me a chance to get a knife. Even though I probably don't need one now, but we'll never. Well, there is actually, I would actually, because there's a big piece here. So there's a massive piece there, so I need to chop that up. And um, it meant I got the chance to reheat in the microwave again, it was going to be cold. It's probably going cold again, but never mind. Right, so. I'm going to eat it. Now I'm going to show you again. Some of the liver after it's been dyed red. Move my feet out of the way just in case. And then this is some of the mash that's gone partly green. Because I'm to cut the green colour down. It's obvious the colours they are because of the dye. Okay, it's not, as I say, it's not mouldy mash, don't worry guys. If any of you have just suddenly jumped halfway through the video, it's not mouldy mash, it's green food colouring, okay? And for my way, I'm celebrating Halloween. Now, to be completely honest with you, um, we don't really celebrate it in our house. Not many people, we hide from it, truthfully. So, what I mean by that is, in the past, we used to hide behind the sofa. Well, not quite, but do the equivalent. Um, basically, we used to switch off all the lights, like many people, and if anybody knocked on the door, time to do any trick or treating, we just ignored them. And we hope that if we were quiet enough and it was dark enough, people would just think we were out. And once it got to about 9 or 10 o'clock or something, then we'd assumed it would be over by then. And then we could switch the lights back on. Um, I know that will shock a lot of Americans because I know you guys are really into it if there's any Americans watching this. 
I know you guys are really into it and you're all to like into like buying food like sweets and things just in case any kids do come around and you just open the door to them because you like to see them in their fancy costumes but over here traditionally people have seen it as a nuisance and um, an invasion of privacy truthfully and um we weren't alone in this, I mean, sometimes you could look across the street and find other people who all switch their lights off as well, and doing exactly the same thing, you know? So I'm not talking a lot guys um. so well I suppose it's obvious really but whenever I've had seen live in the past it's always been chopped up in, in the packets I've never seen the whole thing all in one gut you know with large pieces I've only seen it chopped up you know to be honest I didn't know uh, I suppose it makes sense to be honest uh, stating the obvious I guess but you know I've only seen it chopped up never the whole thing um, I don't normally have liver, but it just happens to be a cheap meal. By, I'm not ex expensive. It's, if I made a meal myself, it's a lot cheaper than that. But it was one that I thought I could easily um die. And I thought this would go wrong with it. So you me doing that kind of thing, you know? A bit more. I think most of it will be eaten now, so... And obviously this is the piece of bacon. And that's what the bacon looks like after it's been dyed. Now... Bacon is actually used in Christmas food. For those people, anybody who's watching this who um, isn't... Um, westernized um, and it's just curious we also have bacon on some of our Christmas food and we call it pigs in blankets and we have a sausage and we wrap um, bacon around the sausage and that goes in the oven with the bacon wrapped around the so sausage and we call it pigs in blankets because basically um, most of our sausages are pork over here in fact, most of our meat is pork over here. I'm fully aware that's offensive to some cultures, particularly Muslims, where, you know, pigs are sacred or something, and you're not allowed to eat them because they're sacred or something like that, or... You think they're not healthy to eat, or for some reason, but that's, you know, your culture, and I'm not going to criticise it, every country has their own culture. Um, you know. As I said, this is supposed to be lamb's liver, so it says it's um, lamb's liver in a rich onion gravy with sweet cured bacon and buttery mash but of course I also put the food colouring on so now originally I did have the clever idea once of doing an April Fool joke now I would um, put some green dye on some food, do a video, and then 
and show you me eating it and claim that it had been five years old or something, but, you know, even if it was completely within date. Um, but, anyway, by next April, people have probably forgotten this video. So, oh dear. Right. As I said, you can tell my um, videos are real. I do not stage these things, they just happen, right? But anyway, there you go, guys. Um, thanks for watching. Happy Halloween. Bye.